Szép van, Anna. <laughs> What's the crack, lads? Welcome back and welcome to our Manchester United club pack review. As promised, we are back. We've already done the Barcelona one. If you've missed that, do make sure and check that out if you haven't already. So with this Manchester pack, you are going to be getting Ten Hag, who's a legendary booster manager. Well, not a legendary manager, but a booster manager. And then you're also going to be getting 11 of these players within this pack for 1,500 coins. The big question is, is it worth spending 1,500 coins? I would say that if you've got a fairly set team and a fairly strong team, I would say no, right? Now, I'm a Manchester United fan. Obviously, we're in a bit of the doldrums at the moment. We're down the doldrums. But I do feel like there's two to three good players in this that can really push your squad over the edge if you don't have a lot of epics or boosters but if you do have epic players you don't really need to upgrade your squad with any of these club packs right so we're just going to show you everything that you get there if you've already bought this pack and you're looking to train them up to the ultimate versions or you're struggling right we'll show you some gameplay in a second against the division one guy using this squad okay using this squad where we've basically just upgraded Juan Basaka, Casemiro a little bit and of course Highland up front who are my Probably three favorite players on this with Casemiro there as well. I think is a beast. Bruno's quite nice. Onana's not bad either. We'll show you a couple of clips of his saves. But if you have missed and you're looking, if you've already bought the pack and you've your mind made up that you have bought the pack or you're going to buy the pack, uh, make sure and check out my other video which we dropped this morning, uh, which we did have the ultimate training guides for all of these players, including some of my favorites. If you are struggling with builds, I think the way that the player builds work at the moment, lads, is they have changed over the last couple of weeks. And there's a lot of stats that we talk about in this video in detail as to why I've trained them the way that I've trained them, depending on your play style, whether you're long ball counter, possession, whether you're comfortable on the ball or whether you like to just play very direct. There's a lots of details in this video as we cover on um, this video, just a little bit of gameplay and how the players actually, you know, react and how they play because stats don't tell the whole story, right? It's a mixture of stats, player AI, player ID, player skills, the way the game is actually designed and balanced and, you know, what can actually work to get wins, right? So I would say that for the Manchester United pack, lads, right, as we get on to gameplay here in a sec, I would say that it's probably the weakest 11 players. There is, you know, obviously two to three um, really strong players in this that can work for you. Highland is definitely an exciting player to use. And I'd say the pick of them is Wamba Saka, as you see his build here. As I said, if you've missed out that video, you can check it out. Um, it's, it's a short video from earlier on. But I would say that the Barcelona pack and I would say the future packs that are going to be coming are potentially going to be even better. Uh, I do feel that the biggest problem with Manchester United squad is that they've got too many similar players. They don't have a left back and they just space and wise, the, the ball kind of breaks down a lot, um, you know, when you are actually in those areas of scores uh, or areas of the pitch, right? Now, what I will say is I'm going to rewind it back here in a second and see... And apologies, lads, my throat is still a little bit dry, so uh, apologies about that. But I'm going to rewind it here and just pause it, right, and show you here that this is kind of where you need your space and to be. You will see that I am defending with one uh, centre-back, which is Lindelof, and I'm going to let the AI really position themselves for the rest of this. Now, this is a great pass from Ronaldinho. It's a slight mistake for me, but I'm still able to recover it with Lissandra Martinez. That's pure positioning, lads. There's no real, nothing really massive that I'm doing there. It's just positioning and knowing where your players are. Similarly with this here, we get a nice little ball in. It goes nowhere because we've got no width, no depth in our squad, apart from Rashford on the left wing. But when he has the ball, you're going to struggle. So you do have to kind of attack from the front and play very simple football, like very simple football, right? I would say here again is another example of a brilliant save from Onana. He's really impressed me, lads. His positioning has been amazing. Even though this is a manual save, look at that. It's a really nice animation and motion from him. So I do recommend Onana if you are struggling and you have bought this pack, give him a good go and train him up. But this is kind of where you're going to need to spend a lot of your time is out wide if you are playing now i'm playing obviously a 4-5-1 with this formation and we do have cristiano ronaldo in this squad uh in this match uh because highland was down but ronaldo is coming in it's going to be the same kind of uh you know chance creation that you're going to be getting here right so the ball comes in here to bruno cheeky little chip up bruno's a fantastic passer lads. he's a brilliant passer brilliant lob ball passer again you get a brilliant save there that is just strictly from the ai that was not a manual save and again, we have Ericsson and Bruno with a little cheeky one-two up here. We're going to recycle the ball back here with Ericsson right here. Nice, patient build-up play. Timber has come in as a right back because wan was down. But it's a lovely first-time pass, lovely cross in, and Ronaldo is there again. So you can actually kind of like get these guys in and um, make a lot of like, make them like role players. Even on Anna covers there, right? But the three or four players that I would really recommend training up 
is definitely if you want something a bit different or even if you are a Manchester United fan Hoyland is definitely exciting especially the way that you can train him up there you'll see me just kind of toiling over this is from the live stream scratching my nose toiling over what way we were going to train him up would we go fully out acceleration will we try that build with 93 balance nine or 90 uh nearly 93 acceleration 97 acceleration and attacking awareness in 93 will we try the dexterity a little bit lower and then see the boost that we're going to be getting because we are going to be getting the boost of speed and the manager boost um there's lots of ways that you can now train the players right I will give my full thoughts on the live stream tomorrow as we talk about these player packs and we probably will get the final pack which will be the Arsenal pack to do a video on this as well but when we actually train up Highland here I've kind of settled on him being my kind of main striker within this squad I don't think that he's gonna you know unseat the likes of Romario or Collar or even Cristiano up front for me if I'm playing with like a kind of a road to glory type squad if I'm just doing you know standard players or special cards or whatever way I decide to do it but he is a really really good player I do really like him I've kind of tested out a couple of different builds as you see here the reset progression is still in effect whether I would buy the pack for Highland if you're not a United fan I probably wouldn't I would say that Barcelona have Lewandowski up front who's a better option I would even say that Arsenal have better options up front for their squad if you're looking to just buy one club pack right where the strength comes from United is to have three to four really technical players that you can kind of slot in. Bruno Mount and Eriksen are very, very similar players to be able to feed Hyland. And I would also say that having those three centre backs, it is kind of meta that's forcing you into the meta because there's no left back in the squad. So Wambasaka is probably my favourite player in this. It's ridiculous that he has 33 levels, lads. He goes to insane, insane stats, as you see here. We did kind of toil over how we train him up as well um it is a pity that you can't really play him as a center back because i do think he would be a solid center back he'd be better than lissandro martinez but you can go fully up with the defense stats there and get them all into the nearly 90 zone 99 zone if you really want to but i still think having his tackling at 97 is the sweet spot of course you're going to get the speed at 87 because you're going to get the three boost with the manager boost and the 10 hag boost so effectively that's where the real strength comes in is that i only have to put his speed to 87 and the stamina is more than enough unless i want to go a bit higher with it right defensively um aerial strength physical contact or any of that but yeah they're the three players that i would definitely recommend um i would probably put in casemiro as well and as you see here we're trying out different builds we've tried multiple versions of Wambasaka. i still think that he does need that speed and acceleration into the 90s um personally for me but where other defenders and other center backs and other right backs defensive right backs struggle with um you know they're they, they can't have defense and speed this guy has everything the only thing he doesn't have is passing which you know you know what you're going to be getting with him so for this club pack yeah let's the big question is do i recommend it i would say probably not i would rank them as you know barcelona pack second arsenal first and then probably um the manchester united pack third but let me know what you guys think that is it for me i'll be back in a little bit we will be back live streaming apologies lads i've been a little under the weather sickness but we will be back tomorrow hopefully live streaming so i hope to see you then and we'll catch up with you